welcome back to my channel so in today's video girl I am going to be sharing with you guys all the products that I really like for 2020 so we are coming to an end and I want to get this video out because I'm not gonna be buying any more new products for this year this is it anything else that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in my other videos is just things that I bought and haven't even done the video but I'm done buying stuff I think I yes I had enough so I collected a lot of stuff this year a lot of foundation and bronzers also I have a few palettes here that I really like I think they are the best that I've seen for this year everyone has their opinions on their products but for me whatever you guys see I use all the time is because I really like them so we're gonna start off with primers and sprays and stuff like that this is the first one here this is from Huda Beauty and I've been using this since I got it and I really do like this for dry skin it's really good for dry skin it has this little tackiness feeling to it after it dries down and I also use this today on my face I keep using this because I think it's really really good for my skin and it just make my makeup look really good so this is the reason why this is my favorite for this year uh, I think this is better for dry skin I don't think it's gonna perform too good on oily skin but I've seen a few people use it the next thing I really like for dry skin is this revolution glass skin primer and it's it's a dewy finish and I don't think this don't have any like oil in it or anything it just give you a really really nice finish uh, if you have dry skin this video is for you because everything I'm gonna be showing you guys is for dry skin okay girl this is so so good this came out earlier in the year and they came out with a glass skin collection and this is one of the products that I really like for my skin honestly if you guys looking for like cheap stuff from revolution you need to go on their website because they always have sales it's like Colourpop they always have sales and it has a pump in it as well and I like the bottle because it's glass it's like really really good I think these two they're like the same the revolution and the Huda Beauty is like the same but the Huda Beauty one is a little bit more watery so you don't need a lot of any one of them but if you're on a budget pick this one up because I don't remember how much is this but I know it's pricey and you guys been like you guys could see like I've been using it like I really do like both of them if you guys want to pick up the revolution one Ulta do carry them okay so the next one that I really do like this is from Fort Ray and I got this on the Ulta website and girl I really do like it not only for primer wise but just to just to refresh my skin I use this at night as well not just for makeup wise you could just use your primers or any of the stuff I'm showing you guys for the face you could use it without even putting no makeup on and that's why my stuff always finish really fast I just use them however I want not just because the label says it's a primer okay so the next one that I really want to talk to you guys about is for wrinkles the next product I want to share with you guys is from elf and this is for wrinkles under the eyes and this is illuminating eye cream the girl this is really good for wrinkles like I've been using it since I got it I don't know if you guys can see because it's a white base it's really really good for the eyes I use it in the morning and night because it did recommend that you use it twice a day I did see a little improvement under the eyes girl and sometimes I put it all over where I think I have wrinkles and like in my smiling area as well I will put a little bit over here because uh, I don't like wrinkles girl even though a lot of people tell me I don't have wrinkles but I do you know get it and try it out if you ever try this out before please let me know because this is really really good so I have two sprays for dry skin and you guys should know by now like I really like spray for the face like I really do like setting sprays they're just really good not only for setting makeup but just like I said you could use it just to refresh the face so this is from makeup revolution and this is the this is the hydro fix they also have another one and it's for oily skin so you could check it out but also the other one I want to talk about this is from milk and I have to stop using this because girl like I'm gonna have to like switch up because this is always on my desk you guys see I use it all the time since I got it this is really really good like I use it today like you see how my my makeup just you know look flawless it's because of this girl you know it takes out the powder because sometimes I put a lot of powder under the eyes and this works really really good you get this on uh, Sephora website and I really do like this girl like I'm a junkie for setting sprays so I did bought a lot of foundation this year girl I 
I don't know. I need to stop buying foundations because I, I accumulate a lot of foundation this year. This one is from EXA. I just did a review on this. This is really, really good. I don't see a lot of people talking about this brand, but they are vegan, cruelty-free, very clean product. Uh, they had the primer as well, but I think the primer was for more oily skin. Only thing I don't like is the applicator. It's just like I don't want to open it because it comes with a pump. But when I open it, this is what I get. So I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I think I got a like a medium coverage. I don't remember. This is made in the USA, if you guys wondering. And this is a high fidelity semi satin finish foundation. It's a satin finish, but I but you know I still do like it. The bottle is small, but yeah, I think it oxidized a lot but i got it to work anyway the only reason why i didn't return this foundation because Ulta don't carry them at the store it's just online i just kept this and i'll just you know mix it with other shades but i really do like it so the other foundation is from rare beauty like i really love this foundation i tried it out twice first time i got the wrong shade my friend julie told me to get this shade and thank you so much julie because this works really good the shade works really good for me and the shade that she recommended was 460w and if you use me for a shade range, girl, you know how this foundation, like I really like this foundation. This foundation is really popular. I really like it. You guys should try it out. I have videos on everything that I'm showing you guys. So that's why I don't want to like talk too much because I could talk when I'm ready. I think I've got like a full coverage, but I'll put the video up here if you guys missed that video. And the other one that I really like is from Range Beauty. This is a black owned brand. And this is a True Intentions Hydrating Foundation. And this is the shade Sahara Rose. I don't know if they have other things in their collection, but the foundation, I always wanted to try the foundation and I finally got it. I think this foundation was a little bit too dark, but I don't remember. I think it was. I got a full coverage, very, very nice foundation. It's clean as well. so. Try it out. If you really want to try this foundation out, they have samples. You could buy the sample, try it out and see if it works for you. The other one that I have is from Makeup Revolution and this is the XX foundation here. I don't even remember how this looks on my skin, but I know that it was very light. That's one thing I hate about Makeup Revolution and their foundation range. Girl, the undertones be like killing me because I could never get my shade. And this happened to me a few times where I had to pick up so much foundation from them and I had to give away some of the foundation because they couldn't work. This is my second foundation from them. I have the hydrating one and this one. It comes with a pump and I have a video on this. It's really, really nice. But I don't think I'll pick up any foundation again from them because there are times where i have to pick up two and it's like it's too much money pick up any foundation just keeping my fingers crossed that i don't because unless they don't get the undertones together i don't think i will pick up another foundation unless somebody do like a collaboration with them and get it together maybe tammy if you see this video maybe you need to do a video and like get it correct for them because girl like we need better undertones foundation from revolution so i have this one here from profusion and this is a full skin foundation i really do like this this is like a lightweight foundation for me this is like a full coverage for me i did get two of it but that's one thing i hate about companies this brand didn't come up with too much undertones for darker women so i had to get two of it and girl even though this was like maybe six to seven dollars still i have to pick up two and i just don't like the idea of picking up two foundation it really do looks good and it feels like skin so okay so the next one that i have here this is from Too Faced and this is the Born This Way Matte Foundation. Girl, I like this. Like, I really enjoy this foundation when I reviewed it. I tried out the Lumine the Dewy one, I think. If that's what it was. I don't remember, but I did a comparison with both of them and I chose to keep this one because I get more coverage with this foundation instead of the other one. And I picked up the same shade with Chestnut and the other foundation and this one was like color wise on the tone this one looked way much better and the other one was like too light i didn't understand like it's the same foundation right so i don't understand why one was lighter than the other one but anyway girl transfer resistant there's none when i try it out so let me know what you guys think about this foundation i'm the one that i'm wearing today mental cosmetics i love this foundation uh it is a foundation stick but it's very soft 
yeah this is t40 and girl i love this foundation it's like it really soft on the skin blends in really fast if you guys never tried out minty stuff like you need to like this is the bomb.com the other one is from huda beauty of course and i really do like this foundation stick it's very soft on the skin i think this is one of her best foundation yet okay and even though this is a foundation stick I'm not a really a foundation stick type of girl, but I still like to try out things for you guys. This is the same shade as the foundation itself. This is Mocha 500G and girl. I also did a video on this already, so I have a whole bunch of concealers here, so I try not to pick up too much. But the one that I really do like is from Rare Beauty and I girl, I like it. It's full coverage under the eyes. It's not heavy at all. So that's why this is my favorite, but this is the only one that I'm liking for this year. And I use it on the brow as well because it just blends in really nice with my skin. And this shade is 4050 neutral. Okay. I only picked up one setting powder this year and this is from Laura Marcia. I use this all the time like when i'm doing my makeup this is just sitting right here this is a really really nice finish setting powder setting powder it's very fine mill that's why i really like it and then i use my brush this is one of my favorite brushes that i like to use with this step and i'm just going to throw it out there because i know one of you guys going to ask me what brush is that this is from pro vision and i just use it to like tap in girl like this is the brush for this Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I could find it and list it down below for you guys. I think it has a little bit more yellow in there than the than the translucent one. So that's why I really like to use it. It's just a really, really nice uh, texture setting powder. They do have the smaller one, like the mini size, if you guys wanna try it out. This was a little bit more expensive than the regular price. I don't know why they did that. This was like $39, like really, Laura Mercier. So this year, a lot of company came out with cream products and sometimes I try to stay away from cream products because they go bad after a few months and I've learned my lesson picking up cream products, girl. I threw away so much things this year. So the first one I have is from Fenty and this is really, really good this is a cream bronzer here I really do like her stuff and the packaging uh, this blend are really nice I did a review on this and this shade is chocolate which is number six you got to know how to use cream products and I'm getting to like them these days so so a little bit goes a long way cheaper one if you guys want to try it out is from Colourpop uh, Alta don't carry this as yet, but this is a soul and body deep bronzer and this is it here I really do like it like this is so good and This is deep. This is very soft. I use it a few times on my channel Yeah, the Fenty one look a little bit more deeper if you guys see But I still do like both of them. So this is all the bronzer that I like this is from makeup revolution And this is a glow palette and girl, this is so big. You're not gonna be done anytime soon. This is it here. This was very popular when it came out because I did like the undertones and all the shades it came out for women of color. Everybody was talking about this. So this has to be one of my favorite for this year. Makeup Revolution actually did their thing for bronzer this year. I was like, wow, like I'm really impressed with what they did this year. So another one, of course, is from Charlotte Tilbury. And why not? Like, girl, Charlotte Tilbury did her thing this year as well with the bronzer. And I would like to see deeper shades from for the bronzer, but this is number four. It works pretty good. I think it was like $50 I paid for this and it worked the money. The cool thing about it when this is done, which it was never done, I don't think I would ever hit pan anytime soon. When this is done, you could take it out and replace it. This is really cool to do. And the other one that I'm gonna include here is from Jouer. This is it here. And this is the Deep to Dark Bronzer Duo. And this is Sun Glow and Sun, Glaze, Sun Gaze. I use it a lot on my channel. I don't remember what I used today, but I don't think I used this. But this is pretty good for traveling as well. It comes with a mirror and I do like mirrors in my products. I just like it because when you're traveling, you just have, you know, this little mirror you can see. Because if you guys don't know, I'm blind, girl. This is pretty good. You guys could try it out. You get two of it. I do use both of them for different things. So I have two face powders that I want to share with you guys. One is a drugstore and one is high-end. So I really do like this high-end product. And if you guys can figure it right now, if you haven't been listening to me, you haven't been watching my videos, so you won't know. But the one that I really like is from Charlotte Tilbury Girl. What? 
Charlotte, like, really? Yes, girl. She be like, girl, I really love Charlotte Tilbury stuff, but her complexion products, okay? This is it here. This is the Airbrush Finish Skin Perfecting Micro, Pro Micro Powder. And I use it under the eyes today. Actually, when I'm done doing my makeup, I always go back with this and just brighten under the eyes i really don't use it for all over the face anymore and that works pretty good i really really love this and it also comes with a mirror right here so the other one that i want to share with you guys is from the drugstore this is actually a dupe for the charlotte tilbury powder this is the number seven lift and luminate triple action translucent finishing powder and this is deep the charlotte tilbury one is a little bit more on the light side and this one is a little bit more heavy. So I won't put the Charlotte Tilbury one all over the face like, like I just said. I will just use it under the eyes. This, if you want like a full coverage, this is it right here. This is cheap. This is not expensive, like maybe like $12. I got it from Walgreens, I think. I think Target also carried them, but this look like the Charlotte Tilbury packaging, but this one is a little bit on the thick side. And you guys see the Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit more slim, but I do like this. This is like, this is really, really good. So if you guys don't want to spend all that money for the, Tilbury, for the Tilbury powder, pick up the number seven. So I forgot to mention the Tammy Revolution Bronzing Palette. I really do like Tammy's product that she came up with this year with Revolution. This has a big size mirror in it, you guys can see. And I really do like the shades that she came up with. I think this one was, um, I think this was deep. I think that's one is, this one is deep, but I do like the shades for our skin tone. I love that blush as well. I haven't used the highlighter as yet because I'm not a big fan of highlighters anymore. I didn't put highlighter on my face today. I did a video on that as well and she did sort of video and she did comment. So thank you so much, Tammy. And I do love this girl. Like what? She did her thing with this palette. So if you want to support her, go to Makeup Revolution website and you know, bye girl. So the only blush that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is it here. Okay. I really like this and I've been using it since I got it. I think I'm done picking up Charlotte Tilbury face product. Like I'm done. So this is it here. This is a walk of shame blush and I love this blush. Like I've been looking at it since it came out and I just like, you know, I need to get it because I want it. I'm gonna get it. So this is really good and all her complexion stuff comes with a mirror so this is a must girl so i think this is it for face let's go with eyes because i don't really have a lot for eyes so this is gonna be quick so i have this ultimate base from revolution girl and this is like really really good i'm like i'm happy that i got this because i don't have a base for my eyeshadows and i honestly when i seen this I had to pick it up when it comes to make a revolution products i'm not surprised that they duped this from the pillowies i think it was pillowies that had the that came up with this first but they duped it and it was seven dollars so i picked up the three shades because you guys been seeing me using this for a while and it's very soft you don't need a lot of it so a little bit goes a long way and this is i pick up the light the medium and the dark shade and i use the medium for now but if you guys want a base for your eyeshadows Go to the Makeup Revolution website, girl. So we have some palettes here. When it comes to those palettes, girl, I was like so over these companies with all these palettes. Like really, like what are we gonna do with all these palettes that has the same undertones? Like why? So I gave it a break and I just recently picked up a few products to share with you guys. Some of them I haven't even do the videos. This just happened, but I'm gonna do the videos, the palettes that I haven't touched yet, but those I, I share with you guys. Just gonna include it in this video. So these are my favorites for this year. It's pertaining to these eyeshadows. Now these eyeshadows are very creamy. So we're gonna go with the drugstore first because it's on top of this. So this is the LA Girl Break Free palette so this is one of the best palette i tried out from ellie girl like this is the bomb.com like girl what i like about this is that it's huge it has a big size mirror here okay and the shades are like you know neutral shades but they works really good and i like it if you are a beginner you're gonna really like this palette they're always on sale on the auto website so you guys can take a look at that when i picked it up i got a sale so i picked it up for like two dollars and cents so auto have a 20 percent floating around right now so if you want this palette go get it the other one that i want to share with you guys this is from alter ego 
and this here is Artemis palette and I got this palette because everyone was talking about Natasha Denona palette I don't have Natasha money Natasha Denona palette is like a hundred and change and I'm not doing that so I did my research and I came across this I did a review on it and this is a dupe for one of her palettes and girl I love this palette okay and this palette is is it 22 something like that the shades look the same okay so this is a must-have if you guys like you know high-end products and I do like the packaging is like heavy I up a few other palettes from that brand but I haven't got a chance to even show you guys so look out for that video I still gonna do a review on them because I want to get all this stuff away you know all the stuff I bought for this year so the other two that I really like is from Menti Cosmetics I'm in love with Menti Cosmetic products like I think Menti Cosmetic is in Target right now girl they're in Target go pick up something you're not gonna regret it I'm telling you and I don't think this palette is new this is it here this is eyeshadow oh so it's the everyday eyeshadow palette okay so this is the, the box and all of that stuff is just black I, I just love the packaging because I love black girl so this is it here so I got two of this palette because the one they sent to me before was broken and this is a new one the palette is like a neutral palette and it has a mirror and I don't want to blind you guys and these are the shades now the other one is also for Menti Cosmetics and they just came up with this one this is the every night eyeshadow palette so this one is every day and every night okay got it and this is it here did a review on this one as well and I love the fact that they have a black in there this is beautiful I love shades like this because it's like it's easier for me to work with I don't know if you guys know this by now but I just a neutral type of girl so this is it here but I tried to put like a little color in between but if you guys are junkie like myself and you guys like to collect collect wisely okay we're gonna go with lipstick and lip gloss we're just gonna put them together because it makes sense so we have two here from Fenty Beauty and this one here is hot cocoa and sweet mouth really love the Fenty lip gloss they are not sticky a little bit goes a long way and I just love these like they are really really good I only had one of it and I just went and just pick up a few more because they come in very handy I they smell so good so these are my favorite from the Fenty line I'm not gonna lie like they're really really good and I have one here from elf cosmetics this is just a clear lip gloss but I use it for like when I put my lipstick on and I use this today kind of fair enough because I've been here for a while clear as you guys could see like I it mixed with the lipstick but that is fine because I use it girl and what I like about this is not sticky like you know it's like some clear lip gloss they're very very sticky not this one it wasn't that expensive at all so this is a Juvia's Place lipstick and this is a shade Chic this is the one I've been using a lot girl and I use this today and it's a little bit on the light side but like the pink undertone let me like swatch it for you guys it has a little pink undertone to it so I do mix it okay and this is what it looks like here the pencil that I like to use with this lipstick is from Juvia's Place this is cola and this is a brown pencil and girl mixing this together the bomb this is from the Tammy line and this is the share the share brilliant from makeup revolution and this is gone rouge number 124 so I've been using this since I got it and I think that Tammy did so well with her collection anyone could like use it and I've been using it since I got it like I really love this so it comes in a kit so you get this a light I think a lighter shade and a pencil these are the products that I really love for 2020 I'm not buying any more new stuff so anything that I picked up throughout the months and I didn't share with you guys I'm gonna do videos on them but I'm not buying any more thing this is it for me but let me know what you guys think about these products for this year let me know what you guys picked up and what you guys really like in this collection I really had fun with all these products and these are my favorites for this year thank you guys so much don't forget to hit the notification bell also don't forget to share this video and subscribe to this channel thank you guys to my new subscribers and I will see you guys in my next video bye